Hey guys, Tux here, and today I'm going to be unboxing Japan Crate. And this is actually kind of a happy ending story. This particular Japan Crate I got once before, and it came damaged. And the good folks at Japan Crate, they were nice enough to send me a backup copy, like a brand new box with brand new stuff in it. So that was super nice of them, so thank you Japan Crate for replacing my de defective box with a nice new one. Now this service, if you're unfamiliar with it, basically it's a monthly subscription service where they'll send you a box of Japanese treats for about 30 bucks. This is considered the premium box. Now they do have some smaller boxes that are less in price uh, that don't usually include quite as much in the drink department or the like do-it-yourself kit department. Um, but it's still it's totally worth it to check out the Japanese treats and personally I love snacks from Japan. Uh, when I go to Miami sometimes we'll stop at um, Tim's which is a oriental market which is a great place if you're up there and I'm sure your hometown probably has like an Asian market too so check out those little places. Sometimes they're really like underpopulated, you know, you wouldn't think of going there, but when you go in there, you'd be amazed at all the cool stuff they have, and the prices are very reasonable too. So anyway, if you want Japanese snacks delivered to you, there's a couple different subscription services, but this is right now is my favorite one, Japan Crate. All right, with that being said, let's dive into this box. I'm going to move my little squid girl here out of the way a little bit, and we'll take a look here in the box and see what we have. Oops. I'm all butterfingers here today. Okay, now first thing I'll say about this box is that it's a really pretty box. I mean, I, I always look at retail packaging when I talk about things, and this actually has very nice, cool packaging. You open it up, it says Japan Crate, and on the inside here, there's some really cute stuff going on. There's a really cute Mount Fuji, and like lots of happy clouds that you'll see here. Let me pull this forward a little bit. Happy clouds, Mount Fuji, and just lots of cool animation and stuff. So, I mean, they spare no expense when it comes to making the box. It's, it's really a pretty box. And then once you get inside here, the, the quality continues. Let me see if I can get this pushed down here without knocking over anything. There we go. Okay, so inside the box, there's first a, like a little comic thing. And this originally started as like a one-sheet flyer, and now it's actually evolved for July 2015. This is again the July box. Um, this has evolved to actually being a very cool like little, almost like a little manga or something. And um, from here you can go ahead and open it. Now of course manga, you know, start in the back. So this is kind of interesting. You could start in the back, but it looks like this reads from the front. But the cover itself, um, the cover of it is on the back, I guess, to help support that. So anyway, I'm going to open it up this way just for fun. And this is great. Like, page one, there's cool fan art. Like, look, there's, like, L snacking out a cookie, uh, Pokemon, a uh, little happy girl with Japan Crate food, lots of fun stuff. I love Japan Crate. This is awesome. I hope that they do more of this stuff as time goes on. And then community page here, um, you can see there's lots of little cute pictures of people in the Japan Crate. People all happy, trying different things. I got that keychain thing, loved it. It did fall off though, I'll say I lost it. I feel sad. Um, little figures, cool little things for Japan Crate. And it's really great that they're trying to not just uh, have it be a box of snacks, but actually kind of a community of people who love Japanese food and culture. So anyway, we'll continue on here. Flipping through it here, this talks about, um, there's a cool little thing, it talks about Tanabata. And Tanabata is actually my birthday, which is very unique. And also very involved in the Hirodi Suzumiya storyline, which of course this figure back here is from. Um, but anyway, if you're not familiar about it, basically it is a festival that celebrates um, the stars. And you can make wishes and see if they come true, okay? So it's a lot of fun. Um, you can read about this. I'll kind of put this here real quick. You can pause it maybe. Um, and if not, if you have Japan Crate, definitely don't just, sometimes people get like books and instructions of those kind of throw them to the side, but this is really a fun little, uh, instruction book here. So it's well worth doing, um, taking a look at do it yourself instructions. It talks about the little kits here, best practices for making the little candies. And I'll show you about more about that. And then it talks about here, um, there's like a mega crate you can win every month. And there's only like, I think probably just one winner, I believe. And it talks about some of the things you can win if you get the mega crate. It usually includes like a video game system, like a 3DS, and even more snacks and games and lots of cool stuff. I've never won the mega, mega crate. Um, but I'm hoping that maybe sometime, maybe I will. I don't know. Uh, but it would be fun. And then here it talks about some of the different snacks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these out and talk about these one by one. And um, the first one, well actually here, I guess I'll go in order that they are um, laying atop the box. The very first thing here is a do-it-yourself kit. 
and this is um, there's instructions for that that's what this one page here was for it talks about how to do it yourself and this is for making like little dot candy and these kits are really fun and if you're interested in seeing these kits being made let me know um, I do have kind of an abundance of these kits um, and so I could easily do some of these as a video sometime if there's enough interest for it um, but they're, they're really fun it's fun to make the candy and kind of customize it and this is like a big thing in Japan people like making making candy you know and they sell these these cute little kits so that's that then moving on here the second thing is these chips and I've had these before too I've had quite a few of these this stuff before so I'm pretty familiar this is actually a corn chip um, it's kind of puffed it kind of tastes like um, maybe like the cereal um, I forget the name of it is it corn puffs or something it's like um, that's those are like sweet but these are like puffs of like corn essentially and it has a very corny taste if you will um, and it might sound bad but it's not it's, it's actually quite delicious um, and so it's like little Cheetos and instead of being a cheesy flavor they're kind of like a corn flavor and there's some other spices and stuff in there too it's not just like corn taste uh, but they're very corny you'll see if you if you try these um, they distinctly have a very corn inspired taste to them and maybe even smell and you can see right here on the thing, it talks about corn. So um, I highly recommend these. I would give these on a flavor scale of A through F. Um, or let's go 1 to 10. I would give these probably about a, uh, probably about an 8. Okay, they're really good. I'd recommend them. Okay, continuing on. Let's see if, what else we have in the book here. Um, okay, now I can get to this other stuff. Okay, this here um, is the red, this is red bean paste. And this is used in a lot of snack product. And a lot of people, like myself, I'm not real into eating beans, I'll be honest with you. But this stuff is cool. Like this is actually, there's sugar mixed in with it. And it's used as kind of like a filling in things. Um, kind of like, you know, like how we have donut filling, a custard and stuff. Very commonly, they use red bean paste, which is like red beans and sugar. And you can see it's kind of like a gel form here. And it actually has a page that talks about bean jelly. And I, I think jelly might not be the best word for it. Maybe they're trying to do that just to... Americanize it or try and make it seem more friendly um, but basically it's it's very sweet and it like it says here it's a key part of many Japanese desserts it really is um, mochi is very popular and um, there's different ice creams that have this inside of it too so uh, anyway it's just it's good stuff I wouldn't eat this myself straight up it'd be kind of like the same as like maybe paying a, a spoon in a thing of grape jelly eating it straight up you know how grape jelly is great on like peanut butter jelly sandwiches and toast and stuff but it, I wouldn't usually eat it just straight up by itself and that's my feelings about this too is I wouldn't eat it straight up so I'm kind of surprised they included like a thing of this in there because I'm not quite sure exactly how I'd use this unless it's part of a kit or something but um anyway there are people who absolutely love this stuff and I love it in stuff um, so I'm sure this will get some good use around my household. So, all right, continuing on. Um, then the drink of the month, and the drink is only in the premium one. And this is, um, from the look of it, this is what actually spilled last time. This I uh, broke loose in the bottle, and, in the uh, box, and it spilled all over. And that's how the box got destroyed, essentially. Um, and this is, to me, this looks like basically like non-alcoholic beer. But I guess it's soda. So it's like soda, soda pop, if you will. Um, they seem, a lot of people here in the States call it like soda. And then I know up north in the United States, a lot of places call it pop. And, um, and a lot of Japanese things I see, it says like, enjoy soda pop. It uses both words. So anyway, if I say pop or soda, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so anyway, so this here is, I believe this is like a non-alcoholic, like, beer flavored pop okay if that makes sense that doesn't sound particularly great to me um basically people seem to say this is like only okay people who i've i know have tried this i have not tried this yet so i'll try this in the future once this gets cold i probably would not drink this warm you know uh, but anyway if you see this check it out um, based upon what other people are telling me i'd give this about a five okay okay moving on along oops um let's see what else we got in the box Okay, then there's lots of things here, and this explains here a little bit about the mini kit. It has this, these items here. The original has the mini plus these here, and then the premium kit has this stuff here. And I have to say, some of this premium stuff is excellent, so I'd recommend getting premium. You know, if you got the funds, if you want to check it out. Okay, so let's go through these real quick. Uh, this one here is, um, let's see, what is this? They're little hardened candies. Um, that apparently make your mouth turn color and I have had this before and I want to say it kind of remind me of bubble gum 
but maybe more like candy. And you can see here on the back, I guess they're all one color. And then you have, you know, basically they're all this darker color. And then when you suck on them like a jawbreaker, if you will, it turns into a different color. And there was some special thing I think with, oh yeah, um, it's the red one. So if you, when you eat this, if you end up getting a red one, it brings good luck. So it's kind of like a game in a way too, that you're eating the candy and maybe you'll get the lucky red one. So anyway, a lot of fun. Uh, these are good. I would give these about, um, probably about a seven. They're delicious. Um, but I say like, I'm kind of, I try, try and stay away from gum product. So that's probably the only reason why I'd mark it down just a little bit. But I'd give it about a seven, which is a delicious score. Okay. Moving on along, uh, let's see what else we got here. There is this here. Okay, this is super lemony flavored gum, okay? And for giggles, I gave this to some friends and they tried it and they were like, ooh, lemon. I mean, um, in the package here, it, it mentions that this is like super 10 pieces of super sour lemon gum. And it really, really is, I gotta tell you. Um, it mentions that after you eat it, you'll probably look like this lemon here, because um, the first bite or two, it's it's very soft gum. Bubble gum in Japan is a little bit softer than US gum. Like, you don't have to chew it quite as hard. And actually, from blowing bubbles and stuff, it actually, it's, it's very good and very soft, so it's easy to blow bubbles with. And this gum, when you first first put it in your mouth you'll notice it's like a little flowery coating and then it's very soft gum and then it hits you bam with a lot of lemon like it's super lemony and you'll definitely be puckering up because it is super lemon sour so if you're into lemon things or sour things it's definitely for you I found this super fun I would give this like an eight I really enjoyed it I'm not crazy about gum but the lemon flavor is really good it reminded me of like like Gatorade gum or maybe some kind of like monster energy drink to kind of wake you up so um I like this stuff I'm definitely gonna ha happy we have more of this so okay continuing on uh, this here is part of the um, basic kit, and this is a very interesting thing too. This is actually, it's like like potato, and it's kind of like if you take a potato, and if you chopped it up, dice it up in the little squares, kind of like you're making like hash browns or something, and then you had a way of like, like freeze drying it or like, you know, dehydrating it where there's no liquid in it at all. So it's like a crunchy potato chip, maybe like a thick cut potato sh chip but instead of being a chip it's more like a square like a, a small dice or something and then they season it and it, it's really quite delicious um i think these are great i would give this a nine it's very tasty and um just awesome and i could eat like a much bigger bag of this because these are they go really fast man this is like a delicious snack and once you give these to friends everybody's gonna be like oh i want some i want some and you'll be out before you know it so just very good snack check it out okay next up uh let's see here um, what else we got? Okay, I'll go through this one here. This here is something which is featured in K-On! a lot, the anime, and they talk about, there's a trick to these. Um, at first look, it actually looks like kind of like Kool-Aid and a plastic sausage with an end here that you twist off and then you, you drink it. Um, there's a trick though, if you don't actually break off the normal end, the end you're supposed to break off, and if you flip it and break off the other end, you can suck through the smaller hole and then, you, well, you basically make a smaller hole, and that way it lasts longer. Um, this, I'll say at room temperature, it's kind of gross, okay? Um, I like it, but it's not just like Kool-Aid, okay? It's kind of like if you imagine, like, liquid gummy bear, maybe. It's it's very, um, like, jelly-like, if you will. Um, it's not just like liquid, like grape Kool-Aid. It's more like like some kind of, like, uh, jelly or something, okay? Um, it's very interesting. Now, cold, it's pretty delicious, and I'd recommend definitely giving it a try. Um, I would give this... Anything above five and above is delicious, okay? I would probably give this um, about, a f let's say, five, okay? It's good, um, but it's not the best thing I ever had. But I would definitely um, enjoy it, and it's fun. Um, but one time I did have it, I was expecting, like, a cold drink kind of thing. Um, and when I started drinking, I realized it was thick, more like like jelly or gummy or something. So um, kind of a weird thing. Um, so check out yourself. The grape, the taste is delicious, um, but it just it wasn't what I was expecting at the time. Okay, continuing on. There's this little guy here, and this is actually kind of like, oops, we lost our keyboard. Um, <laughs> this is actually kind of like a cowtel, if you ever had those in the United States. It's kind of like, like a caramel, like a candy. Oops, my keyboard's falling. Um, kind of like a caramel candy with a center to it. Um, and this is a real nice little snack. Um, and check it out. I wouldn't say it's exactly caramel. It's just kind of like a chewy candy. It has kind of like a soda flavor to it. So if you like like 
like Coke or Pepsi or something. It's kind of like that in taffy form, if you will. I hope that makes sense. I would give this about an 8. I like this a lot. Okay, moving on along. Um, this is a weirder one. This is like little packets. And this is like little packets of what really seems to be um, almost like, like really, again, like liquid gummy bear. Okay, it's not chewy like a gummy bear, but it, it's definitely a liquid that, you know, you could take. Kind of like, it reminds me of like little packets similar to if you ever had those like, um, like, was it the pastry strudel things you you know, take out of your freezer and put it in the toaster, and it comes with like a little packet of frosting, you know what I'm talking about? And then you squeeze the frosting over the little pastry. It's kind of like that, um, but like more like clear gummy, okay? So it's kind of a weird snack. Um, it does taste good, but it's just a little bit odd. I'd give this probably about a six. Delicious, but strange. Okay, continuing on. Um, oh, I guess I should double check the book here. Um, I do want to mention before I go any further that there is a cool little like mangy here at the end, and they, they did a really fun job of actually talking about the food, and there's a whole little story that goes on with someone drinking it, yum, and then talking about it, and just all sorts of fun stuff. So if you again, if you get this, be sure and go through the whole box and read it. And it does explain here that you know a comic reads from right to left. Um, like a real manga. So in manga, you don't start here. Like in American Western culture, we're used to reading like this, like left to right, top to bottom. In manga, it's kind of the opposite, actually, where um, it starts on this side over here, and then it kind of goes down, and then it goes this direction. And that's why the cover is actually on the back, okay? So some of you probably already know that, but I feel like I need to explain it, because if you're just reading this backwards, it's not going to make a whole lot of sense. You're going to be like, what's going on here? So anyway, that is the deal with that. And then at the back here, it talks a little bit about some of the candies, and it has a cool little picture, and that is the box. Okay, we got two things left, and these are two of my favorites, okay? Um, this one here, I would give a nine. This is delicious. This is like a big sticky hand. It kind of reminds me of, in the United States, there's these toys where it's like a big sticky hand you take, and you just throw it, and it slaps the stick saying you can pull it. Um, it's kind of like that, but it's a Gumby. It's delicious. I would give this probably a nine. It's really good, and a lot of fun, too. And then the final thing is one of my favorite Japanese snacks. Um, it's the Z-Bar. And this is absolutely delicious. I would give this a 10. I love this thing. It's kind of like, um, kind of like a like a Taco Bell, uh, like corn puff, like a cinnamon twist, if you will. And then it's covered with like a different flavor. Like uh, one time I had it was chocolate, and the chocolate one is absolutely delicious. This one here is kind of like peanut buttery. Okay, so it's very butter flavored, maybe a little bit peanut butter flavored on top of what is kind of like a Taco Bell cinnamon twist or like a like a big corn puff. It's it's rather large. It's, it's about this big inside the package. So it's a much bigger than like a Taco Bell cinnamon twist, um, but just really delicious. And that is it, guys. That is the Japan Crate for July 2015. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you like these unboxings, let me know, and I could try and do some other boxing. Or if you have a suggested box that you like to see, like 1UP or something else, let me know, and I'll check it out, okay? I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I really enjoy your channels, too. I watch a lot of YouTube. And um, so please continue to make great content. And um, if you want, be sure and enter my 850 subscriber giveaway, which is going on between July 15th. The videos between July 15th and August 15th. You can say, enter me in the comments, and you can have a chance to have a name in the hat to be picked out for some cool prizes. Okay, for all the details, please check out my 850 subscriber giveaway video, which is probably just back a few videos in my, my queue, my list of videos, okay? But again, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye-bye.